Hello from the Seabrook. This is a spectacular home. The base price on this home, and this is what the Villages calls one of their premier homes, and Steve and Lena, as you're watching this, this is a home that I think you would love. You've got the giant garages. Now keep in mind, everything here, you pick the home and then you pick your lot. So you have to find a lot that would accommodate a giant garage like this, but I'm sure if they don't have them right now, they will have them. The base price on this home starts at $433,000, and so obviously your lot premium is on top of that. So once again, you could do a dynamite home for around six hundred dollars and be in a nice location. I'm just going to spin around so you can kind of see what a premier neighborhood looks like. This is a model home neighborhood, so everything's a little rough around the edges with all the uh, construction going on. But you've got a big southern front porch, which is nice. And the thing on a premier home, guys, is the, the uh, doors all get really tall. The ceilings get nice and tall. So it's kind of about as close to your current Ivy Gate home and, you know, spec level, as they call it, as I can get you in the villages. So coming in here, we've got a beautiful kitchen with a big island. And you've got the wall oven and the range. Coming down the hall, we have a giant pantry. Oh my goodness, it's like a whole other bedroom. It's huge. Guys, this is probably, it's not as big as your walk-in closet on your master bedroom that you have now currently, but it's very big. And then you've got a laundry room off here. And keep in mind, the builder will put the sink out in the garage and you can have your refrigerator space here if that's important. More shelving over here. And this goes out to the garage. So here's the giant garage. There's a garage. There's a big two-car garage. There's another garage. So you've got pretty much one, two, three, four-car garage. Um, also, something neat they do here at the Villages, and a lot of Florida, obviously, is the, the concrete block construction. So your homes are going to be really well built. And behind those double doors that you see are all your heating and cooling devices. Uh, they even paint the garages and they put baseboards in the garages here at the Villages. And that's on any level of home, no matter if you're the $207,000 home or you're in one of the big bad boys at $600,000. Lena, here is this stunning bar area. And you can have the bar fridge, you can have all the beautiful cabinets. They've got a ton of different cabinets to pick from. The little bar sink. The dining room on this home is huge. You can see you get a window sink over there. You get the tray ceiling. And then a big lanai, which I'll take you guys out on here in just a minute. Big, big, big family room, enormous family room. Okay, guys, and then I'll just show you the lanai here real quick. They have done a big built-in spa. Hold on. Sorry guys, stupid alarm. They have to have those because it's the models. Okay, so here's the big lanai area. And this is actually just a hot tub, built-in hot tub. It's not a pool, but you could certainly accommodate a pool out here. This is what they call their summer kitchen, so they're very nice, and they're outside on your lanai. Thank you. Daisy just... Uh, Save the alarm from going off again. Okay, so I'll take you guys to the master bedroom. You can kind of get another peek at the really pretty foyer. And they offer all kinds of door options here. So if you want a solid glass door, you can buy that from the design center. Okay, here's the master suite. Of course, the trademark tray ceiling, as you have in most of the homes, except for the one I really like, the ivy. Can't have it in that home. But Got a huge bedroom, as usual, it's a king size bed. And there is, I don't know, probably 12 feet or 10 feet at the foot of the bed, so you got lots and lots of space. The bathroom is enormous, so this is definitely one of the biggest bathrooms I've seen out here at the Villages. So you've got the, the two sinks, the big soaking tub. You've got a huge closet here. I'm not sure if there's a second closet. This is not the biggest closet I've seen in the villages. 
And then the um, walk-in shower with a little bench. Okay, so that is the one closet. It's adequate, it's just not mind-blowingly huge. And lots of wide space here, so you can kind of see that the, the space in the foyer and the hall is just expansive. Oh, we missed this. Yeah, we've got the um, sit-down desk in the kitchen. Wow, guest room is just like endless, huge. You've got a spot that would make perfect space for a window seat you could build in over there. Such big, tall ceilings. You've got a guest room. It's kind of nice. You have the option of having extra tall sinks. So that's kind of nice if you don't have a lot of children visiting, which obviously none of us do. This one's got a walk-in shower in the guest room. You could probably do a tub shower combo if you wanted to. And this guest room's a little bit snugger. They got it uh, demonstrated with two chairs, but it would easily hold a queen size bed and a dresser, no problem. It's just not a, a humongous guest room. All right, so guys, that is the lovely Seabrook. It's a stunning home. To duplicate this on a decent lot, you'd be sitting somewhere around 600,000. All right, thank you for going on the tour with us. Now hurry up and call Daisy and uh, get your buns out here.